Hi, welcome to Moo Moo Math. Today we're going to look at slopes, but we're going to look at some special slopes. There's another video that talks specifically about slopes, so I'm just going to very quickly review those. Okay, this first one, this line, has a slope that is going up from left to right, so it's a positive slope. And remember, we always count our slope as rise over run. So in this problem, we're going to rise one, two, three, four units and we're going to run three units, so our slope is positive four-thirds. Okay, let's look at the second example. From left to right, notice the graph is the line is going down, so that one's going to have a negative slope. When we go to count it, we're going to go down one, two, and over one, two, so it's two over two, negative two over two, which gives us a negative one slope. And again, the slope is negative. It's going down from left to right. Now let's look at our two special cases. This one does not go up or down, but it is a horizontal line. So anytime you have a horizontal line, you are going to have a slope of zero. Okay, why is that? Well, you have a rise of zero and a run of, well, any value. So let's say a run of one. So our slope will be just plain old zero, because zero divided by any value is just zero. Now let's look at this last one. Oh, and the equation for that line would be y equals positive two. Whenever you have a horizontal line, it's always y equals whatever constant the line is is where the line crosses the y-axis. So since this crosses at 2, it's going to be y equals 2. Okay, and the last case is this vertical line. Okay, over here we have a vertical line, and this one has a kind of a different slope. This one has no slope. Now, or sometimes it's called undefined slope. Why is it undefined or no slope? Well, we have a rise of, well, any value, right? It could be 2 or 3 or 4, but then our run is 0. Well, what do we know when you divide any value by 0? You can't do that. So that way, that's why it is undefined, okay? So this one uh, crosses the x-axis at 2, so the equation of that line would be x equals 2, and there's no y value. So let's look at a summary of our slopes. Okay, here we go. Okay, here's our Cartesian coordinate plane. From A to B, we would count our rise, one, two, three, and our run, one, two, three, four. So running four across, so this slope is three-fourths. Okay, the slope of our second line is down one over one, two, three, four. So that one's negative one-fourth. And the slope of our special lines, the vertical line, remember, this one is undefined. If it goes up and down, it has an undefined slope or no slope. And then the slope of our horizontal line is zero. Okay, the equation for this line is going to crossing at the x-axis, I'm sorry, on the y-axis at negative two. So it's y equals negative two. This one crosses, if we extended it up, it would cross right here, and that's x equals negative 3. So whenever you have a vertical line, it's x equal. Whenever you have a horizontal line, it is y equals that constant. So there you go. Hope this video was helpful.